We begin with the huge changes coming to both Fort Worth and Dallas ISDs after both superintendents, Kent Scribner and Michael Hinojosa, confirmed they are leaving the, their respective districts. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Our Andrea Lucia spoke with Dr. Hinojosa about his plan for the rest of this year and beyond. But we want to begin with our Jason Allen, who's live in Fort Worth. And Jason, some people were not too shocked by Scribner's announcement. No, Brooke, for people who have been following the board's actions in this building here pretty closely over the last year, this announcement didn't come as too much of a surprise. You know, it's been hinted at, talked about, critics have even demanded it. And Scribner's supporters even recognize that six years leading a district of this size is a long tenure. With more than two years left on his contract, Kent Scribner Thursday publicly revealed his decision to retire as the superintendent of Fort Worth Schools. It was something he actually informed school board members of a month ago in a private letter. I retiring from this district will not be easy, but I know the work to prepare students for success in college, career, and community leadership will continue. He didn't say exactly why he's leaving and was unavailable for questions. His critics had become louder in the last year. Reading and math scores fell below state averages. He was involved in a mask lawsuit with parents and the work he said he was the most proud of. We're tackling one of the most important and challenging issues in education and our society, racial equity. Critics believed was a distraction. All of that just needs to go away. Just put it, put it on the side, don't even, don't even touch that. All we care is that the superintendent is focusing on scores, focusing on student achievement. Scribner was able to see bond referendums pass, providing billions for new schools. He said more students are prepared now for college and careers, and supporters who admired his professionalism said the city needed to commit to improving public education. Are we willing to pay teachers more? Are we willing to give teachers the kind of ancillary supports that are required? And to bring all of these issues and lay them at Dr. Scribner's doorstep is unfair. It's wrong. His successor will fail Face the same issues. What's not clear just yet is exactly how long Scribner is going to stay on. But Brooke, the school board set a special meeting for next week in part to start talking about that. All right, so we shall find out. Our Jason Allen live for us in Fort Worth. Jason, thank you so much.